Hi, this is John Hewlett. I'm presently here at the PH Miracle Living Center with my good new friend, Dr. Uh, I'm Booth Dr. Booth Danish. Danish, and I'm a consultant, physician, gastroenterologist, uh, trained and worked in Britain. And my credentials are MBCHB, which means Bachelor in Surgery and Bachelor in Medicine, which is equivalent to MD in America, and PhD and FRCP, which is the Fellowship of Royal College of Physicians. Um, this college doesn't give the um, honor uh, to everybody other than people who have gone through extensive training, been consultants and taught in the university and research. Then they are promoted to this fellowship, which I'm honored to have. I'm also have been senior lecturer in medicine in the University of Glasgow. You are welcome. It's nice to be nice here with you. Nice to meet you. you. We and call uh, Dr. Booth. Is Dr. Our... Booth would be fine. Great. Well, Dr. Booth, tell me a little bit about um, how you felt about your experience here at the PH Miracle Living Center. Well, it was excellent. I basically enjoyed the ambience of the place, the friendship of it, and the program, which um, was well organized in terms of giving us every day what we are promised to, 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 to be given. What did you learn about um, exercise uh, here at the PH Center? What Did you find that resistance exercise and using the trampoline was uh, useful to you? Extremely useful. Uh, I found the trampoline that um, here in this center uh, they have put, they are very advanced, good ones, which takes the weight away from you. So if you have aches or pains, it's very easy to keep exercising without much stopping at all. And, um, and the facilities, especially the shaking uh, machine, is also excellent because it does move the lymph and, and the blood circulation in the muscles. So, so the pro-firm machine that, that does the vibration helps the lymphatic system? Absolutely, yes. I believe so. I believe so because I had in one leg slight swelling uh, with lymphatics and that improved remarkably with that machine. You've had uh, a lifetime of experience in medicine and you told me that you were involved in uh, renal research with regards to the kidneys and the proteins and pH and those types of things. How has your knowledge of alkalinity and the pH of the body been enhanced from being at the PH Miracle Living Center? Well, when I learned about this center and but recently before, just before I came, and I realized that um, Dr. Yang has pioneered the principle of using the pH in health, um, I was very pleased because it was almost 45 years after uh, my research work um, in, on the effect of pH uh, on the blood electrolytes and mostly calcium and magnesium. Uh, there was a syndrome of post-dialysis uh, syndrome. Syndrome means unknown disease. Um, and as I was developing a heart, lung, kidney combined one for, for children, um, I, it came to me that the electrolytes that they were using in the kidneys machines was just was ad hoc and was used as the same concentration as it is in the blood. And I realized this can't be right because the blood environment is different from the interstitial uh, fluids um, as one has protein the other one doesn't have. So my research work to my delight showed that when the pH of the blood is acidic then when dialyzed that blood is dialyzed and becomes normal pH the Calcium in blood goes up significantly. 
as well as magnesium, as well as sodium and other things. And I expanded this to amino acids and so on. And the effect was very dramatic when I, the results came out. And this was published in New England Journal of Medicine in year 1969, as, as far as my recollection goes, uh, because I, I started the work on it about 1967. Um, so this resulted in the dialysis unit to use the ratio which I produced to, to adjust their, the concentration of the dialysate fluids. And this, that syndrome disappeared into the realm of medical history. It, so it doesn't pH, exist. So the pH is very important in controlling the metabolism within our body because it has effect through protein binding, through holding things, releasing things, this, the, the um, um, concentration of the elements, practically everything in, in, in our blood. Yeah. As one of the most accomplished physician lecturers in Europe in medicine over the last several decades, with your prominent role serving uh, the queen and, and in the kingdom there, what is your feeling now about Dr. Young's research about alkalinity, the bowel being so important in the prevention of chronic disease and in treating of chronic disease? What, what is that? What have you learned or what has been enlightening to you as one of the great researchers, really, of these last decades of what you've learned more about that from some of Dr. Young's writings? Yes, as you mentioned, um, pH has been my interest from early days of my research. And one of the first thing which um, interested me, it was why patients with dialysis 45 years ago were developing a syndrome called post-dialysis syndrome. While I was preparing a system and developing a heart and kidney for newborn infants to maintain their life, I found that when the blood pH changed from acidity to alkalinity, the electrolytes of the blood changed dramatically, especially calcium. And eventually I realized the results showed that during dialysis, when the blood from acidic pH becomes alkaline, then Calcium and other electrolytes, they bind to the albumin, to the serum proteins in the blood, and the levels of the electrolytes, especially calcium, goes up. And when the blood pH goes down again, becomes acidic, then the calcium becomes free, which means ionized, and can attach itself to anywhere in the tissue of the body. You said that caused joint problems? It caused, it caused basically deposition of calcium in the joints, sickness, vomiting, blurring vision, and so on. So this was published in 1969, I believe. I, I published it in New England Journal of Medicine. And following that, um, when I went into specialize in gastroenterology, acid was again a major issue regarding ulceration and, and uh, gastric uh, problems and disease and injuries and so on. Do you, so at that time I felt that this is another thing we have to find an answer that not everybody who has acid in their stomach gets ulcer. So there must be basically the mucosa producing alkaline or protective mechanism that stops the digestion of the mucosal lining. So I designed the experiment of looking endoscopically um, with a microelectrode taking the pH of the luminal fluid in the stomach and duodenum 
and small intestine, and then immersing the tip of the electrodes right into the mucosa of the stomach and, and the intestine, and the pH was entirely different. It was alkaline. So this proved that not only the pancreas is working to produce alkalinity, it was the stomach and the gastrointestinal tract as well to basically digest the food, to keep the uh, physiological requirement for self-function. And when I recently came across Dr. Robert Young's uh, protocol for health um, in this center, this is why I'm here, I was very pleased and delighted that he has taken the principle of the effect of pH and alkalinity on health. So I, looking then at his protocol, I realized his protocol uh, makes physiological sense in terms of um, putting uh, people on under a very controlled environment, giving them all the same meals, which are green, they are alkaline, and having a system of exercise, system of colonic irrigation, detoxification, and uh, lymphatic drainage, and so on. Um, so my feeling and results, which I have seen in myself of my own well-being, I feel the whole package, what he has put, is very, very important for health because he's not just dealing with one issue, he's dealing with all the different issues that affects our life. The key supplements of greens, greens drinks that either powder form to liquid or fresh juices, which are a little more difficult, as we all know, from preparing ourselves, and uh, the arginine, the nitric oxide. Are all those supplements, uh, greens, salts, and arginine things that, that you're quite excited about using for the rest of your life? Well, salts, you have to basically define what salts, what do you mean by salts? Because you have alkaline salts, acidic salts. Um, and if we take NaCl, which is the salt we use in cooking and so on, obviously the more natural ones, the sea salt or mountain salt, right. uh, they, are, they are better salts for us. Um, and when it comes to um, the other aspect of uh, intake of salt, entirely depends also on individuals. Are these individuals the same? Do they have deficiency? Do they have a disease? Do they have basically kidney problem or diet problem and so on. So the amount of, the amount of acid, um, sorry, uh, the amount of salts that you add and you take entirely has to be in a controlled fashion and controlled condition so that you don't basically go over or under what is requirement for the body. And this is, can be done easily by blood tests and by basically keeping an eye on, on, on the person who is, who is using the salts. You've been able to learn more about nitric oxide and arginine creating that for cardiovascular health. What, what has been your impression of that information that's come, you know, come to you in the last couple of weeks? Well, as you know, the discovery of nitrous oxide has been absolutely fascinating, and the three who discovered it, they deserve their Nobel Prize. Um, it has more than cardiovascular, I believe, going to have more than cardiovascular benefit, especially if they are working on vessels, um, which is the whole idea that they basically help uh, the maintenance of a normal uh, muscle elasticity, etc. Then I think there will be expansion in their use, and obviously, this requires time and research to see the, their efficacy in other conditions, 
like diabetes, for example, on diabetic vessels. And time will tell, and I'm hopeful that, that this shows an expansion into other areas of medicine. Since I've met you, I've noticed that your agility, your acuity, and your skin, your coloring, you just seem healthier. Has, has this been a, a restful and a rejuvenating type of an experience for you that uh, you've been able to take time out of your very busy life and focus on, on maximizing your health and your body's alkalinity that you probably never been able to take this kind of time? Well, absolutely, and this is why I'm here. I, I enjoyed it very much, and the atmosphere is good. Um, the staff are friendly and available all the time uh, to deal with your requirements. And, and even the, apart from the shakes and um, the diet, you know, you could ask for uh, salads, of uh, green salads and um, some even nuts or uh, tomatoes or various, various uh, addings to the diet because in real life, that's what we are eating. So it's nice to gradually, I didn't take it in the first two weeks or so, but gradually I felt that to get my system uh, accustomed to, to going back in the to real going world. Back in real world. <laughs> yes, yes, I have to do that. That's right, we do. And the fascinating thing is that on one occasion, I basically ate a number of pieces of pita bread, and next day I, I really felt stiff and I didn't feel. So it's a fascinating how the body is so likes to be balanced. And if you shift it from one to another, it wouldn't like it. I mean, you can not run the body on acid alone or on alkaline alone. You, you need both of them. It's, very, keep, it's keep a very system. interesting experience to learn. What would you, would you recommend the, uh, the PH Miracle Living Center for a place to rejuvenate, to lose weight, to connect with your spirit, as well as to learn these principles of alkalinity? Absolutely. I have no hesitation of recommending it and I wish everybody who comes here to enjoy it and, and uh, feel parts of the system. And we've made great friends, haven't we? We have. We have. I have met good people here and uh, which hopefully will keep in touch and uh, we'll, we'll remain friends. We shall. And you know, we appreciate, I appreciate meeting you as a friend, as a fellow patient here at the PH Miracle, being able to learn. Don't call about anybody it. patient. Oh, OK. No. Impatient. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. Client. We are no, not even, we are all of them, all of us. We are friends. We are the part of this universe that they come and go. And we have come here to basically learn from each other. The Alkaline family. The Alkaline family. Well, it's been great to get to know you. Good to see um, you. Doctor. Thank you very and much. And we're so grateful okay. for no, who you all. are and, and your sharing your great knowledge and information with Thank us. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. Okay, pleasure.